Okay, sorry, it's, it's a little bit, it's not level. We're in, uh, I don't know what church this is. This is the church where Jeremy Cormier, former mayor of Miramichi, was buried here. Was it a couple of years ago? He was a great, great man, I guess. I filmed him 12 days before before he died. I wanted to interview him. Hindsight's a terrible thing. Okay. Catholic Church. 40, 50 years ago, it would have been, it was a sin to even step foot at a Protestant church or land if you were a Catholic. And there's no way a Protestant would set foot on Catholic land. land. That's the way it was. It was very strict. It was only, I remember, two. I feel like Kevin Bang Bang Vickers again. I remember. I remember. It must, it must be uh, something that catch on in Miramichi. Okay, Charles Focus. Uh, 40, 50 years ago, there was only Protestant and Catholic. Now, we're moving. Canada, we're moving slowly, slowly toward open religion. Whatever that means. Uh, an example. I remember, here I go again, getting old. In the 90s, they had a big, the Royal Canadian Legion had their big uh, annual meeting in Calgary. Okay, guess what they come out with? If you, uh, if you're a Hindu, or whatever, you're wearing a turban, you won't remove your turban when you walk inside the Legion. Anyway, what a bunch of crap. That was in the 90s. So what I did, I wrote a letter to the editor, blasting the Legion, because our soldiers fought for freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and also freedom of religion. And I'm sure there was some Hindus or whatever, what religion it is, I forgot the, the weather. Um, nothing worse than a nutcase with a camera that doesn't get his facts straight before he starts. Um, so anyway, so they turn around, they fought for freedom of religion, no question about it. Some veterans were very, very upset with me that I would support, condemn the Legion on what they said. All right. Now we're heading toward another issue. Justin Trudeau has opened the door, the gateway to all the immigrants to come to Canada. He got, he got shit for it in Quebec. And he told, I remember he told the Quebec was, oh, you are a racist. Because she was concerned of all the immigrants that were coming here. So he called Quebecers racist. Well, bye bye next election now and I remember remember a few few uh, weeks ago uh, there was a woman she was homeless and she starts screaming at uh, an immigrant she was burning a burning a veil and she was screaming at them to go back home to their country where they belong and start blasting the Muslim Everybody around, what, what I found was disgusting, everybody was watching. Nobody said a word in Fredericton. What do you expect? A bunch of snobs. I stood in and I said, I told the woman, you know, follow me. And I apologize on behalf of the homeless person because I said, they're not educated. What's happening is they're homeless and they see a lot of immigrants getting homes, getting housing, while the homeless are not receiving nothing and of course a lot of them homeless people can't take care of themselves so i mean they can't take care of themselves how they're going to take care of their own little place it's impossible but that's another issue now i received an email last night from Fredericton. you gotta love the information highway this guy i'll say a guy worked won't say were and where he works, he wears a hat all the time. And his job is pretty high profile. And he's, he went to renew his driver's license. So far, so good. He needs his license. 
So, when it came for the picture, uh, the woman that serviced New Brunswick said, could you remove your hat for the picture? He said, no. The woman says, no. I said, no, the person, not me, the person said, if other people from other country can wear the turbans and wear their hat, I could wear mine. Oh boy, there we go. So, the employee at Service New Brunswick explained that it was the religious reason they're wearing a hat. So, well, this is my reason I'm wearing a hat. That's my hat. And plus, people always see me with a hat. Why would I want to remove it? If those people, yes, those people can, are allowed to have their picture ID taken with their hat on, I, I, I have the same rights. So what they do, they never, never want to start a debate. So they went to the old picture that they took four or five years ago. And that was the end of that. So are we really, really getting a little bit uptight here in New Brunswick about the issue of immigrants? I mean, myself? I have nothing against immigrants, I think. Every, uh, what I seen a few months ago, we'll discuss it later. But really, I think people should open their eyes, take a deep breath. But then again, you come here, then you go to their country, you follow their rules, and we have lots of things to, to learn. And we came a long way as a Catholic. I could walk in a Protestant church, and any Protestant can walk in my Catholic church behind me. So we're moving slowly but surely.